Hi, Ali Azgar. Welcome to new and other parts video of Planet Automation Limited. Today, I want to describe about the programming sequence of analog uh, programming in Logo Soft Compo B6.1. That means uh, PLC of Logo. So, friends, um, no more late. Let's start the video. First, uh, we are going to open the uh, Logo Soft Compo B6.1. As well as you try uh, the update level software is uh, 8.1 or 8. So, the proper net system and this is the proper bus system. This is the main difference of between that. So friends, this is the main software. We are uh, programming start about the analog programming sequence for any kind of our previous video that was when we are described about the digital programming. We are uses the any kinds of digital uh, components, but uh, we are now use the analog any components. <laughs> friends, first uh, we are uh, right uh, to this point analog contact. Analog contact as like as a Mac contact in here. You will see this Mac contact. Mac contact for only the digital programming, but we are now programming for the analog so friends now it's uh, to the any kinds of analog sensor any kinds of analog devices which we are described of our previous video if you missed of our previous video please uh, watch the uh, previous video and you will get some knowledge about that so friends uh, this is the analog input uh, we are going to write uh, this uh, comments in here as like as rtd here and this is the analog output okay now we are not uses of this uh, analog output directly because uh, this is the analog input and directly you uh, in you know, any kinds of data you want to get the time got of your uh, main result so simply we are uh, so that's uh, this is directly when you are any kinds of data get on your input and directly you got your output this is the analog input to output no any kinds of cut shot of him here so friends let's go to the uh, simulation in here first time you drag of your analog input in here this is the your input and this is the output you on and um, basically this is the blue red cup this is the blue shirt here this is the contacted when you are off you of your simulation that time is the black so friends again this is the blue shirt that means it is the power is connected it's also this bar is a deeply black that means it's also connected when you are dark of our analog input that times it's uh, connected uh, to the output in here you see it's say uh, when you say this is the 532 that means 532 and this output will be 532 okay this is the input and output okay directly output so friends now we are gate uh, to this this is the analog to analog but we are uh, using the analog digital uh, how to uh, control uh, by analog any kind of sensor of this output by output okay so friends uh, let's go to the main topics is analog comparator this comparator means is a compare any value when you are uh, doing something else, it's the first time say, uh, is um, now when you click uh, that time the first time delay that time say. This, so friends, um, I want to say the analog comparator is uh, as like as compare of your value on or off situations. We are open to this uh, front of view. This is a describe some um, slide in here. This is a minimum and maximum, Max minimum and maximum value for zero to ten volt in here. So friends say it's the main important uh, types of sensor. This is an um, analog sensor. So we are know that some, but uh, we are we want to use the PT hundred also analog, and zero to twenty milliampere, four to twenty milliampere PT hundred, no sensor. This uh, dependent on you. I want to use the PT hundred. PT hundred uh, that means uh, temperature sensor. When you are selected the PT hundred, the times you default uh, set uh, minus five hundred to two hundred degrees Celsius. This is a huge temperature in your previously set measurement range. It's automatically selected. This is a Celsius range and this is the Fahrenheit range. When you are selected Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit range will be selected at 3920. This is a default. When you cannot change of this uh, value and um, it's a Celsius. When you are um, selected to the Celsius, that times it changes of this here. So friends, this is after by after when you are uh, 20 milliampere for any kinds of uh, tissue or any um, other devices, uh, 0 to 20 milliampere for any kinds of ITD. We are simply uh, say it 0 to 20 milliampere for ITD, but uh, we are specific PT100 is uh, selected in here. You are you know, also selected um, any kinds of range at that time you when you are selected due to 10, uh, 10 that time you uh, previously due to 100 and uh, also you changes of this year. So constantly when you are uh, fixed of PT100 that time this is the fixed uh, minus 500 to 200 degree uh, Celsius in here. This is the gain 
the gains means um, uh, 2.50 and offset uh, minus 500 um, minus 500 degrees Celsius. The offset offset value is also default in here. Um, so, for instance, uh, minus two uh, minus five, um, 500 to uh, 2000 um, degrees Celsius. Uh, this is the huge max. Um, actually, it's 25 um, uh, 25,000 degrees Celsius in here. So friends, um, we are want to set of our threshold value. This is on. On means uh, which value you want to on of your output. That means uh, digital output. And this is the um, off. That means is the I want to set for offset value. That means um, I want to off my output uh, for this sequence. Uh, one to five hundred. Okay, five hundred. Zero to five hundred. Uh, this compare. When this compare, this means the analog comparator. That means uh, it's a compare. So I want to analog uh, this compared Mac contact for SF. SF that means a special function. A special function means this is the comparator you are uses for this your analog to digital comparator is the medium, medium of uh, these uh, sessions in here. So friend, this is the output. This is the analog. This is the digital output in here. You are a digital output controlled by analog input. This is the main condition, or this is the main theme. This is my, this is my RTD. I want to control my output, uh, digital output, by this analog input. This is the main theme of any kinds of analog sequence or analog program. So, friends, uh, this is the connected each another. I want to write this comments in here. This is the motor 01. Motor 01, okay. Motor 01. So, friends, this is the first step 0 to uh, 500. Uh, degree Celsius uh, for this motor will be on. Uh, actually, is in here, and uh, then again, I want to select uh, my next step of our these uh, the sessions in here. So uh, again, we you know, want to the same category. I want to not changes of my analog input because I want to use use one actually uh, in here. So that means uh, every uh, input uses the analog comparator. Step by step in here, and then uh, you go to the Mac contract for your SF. Uh, this SF2, SF2, and uh, Mac contract, and this is the another output. So, friends, I want to set the value uh, previous as like as previous PT100. That means, uh, so friends, this is the on. That means from my previous uh, due to 500. I want to this is a 500 to 1000 in here. That means. 500 to 1000 1, degrees Celsius at that time say, uh, on of our second output this is a Q2. Q1 is a number one output or number one a motor in here. I want to write in motor 2, 0, 2 in here. Okay, so friends, uh, this is the RTD now. Sensor is one. Uh, you uh, want to uh, select it as a second number ID. Similar. This is not um, a difficult, okay. So friends, uh, you connected each and other. This is the second step of our motor so due to 100 degree uh, celsius for uh, motor one is on 500 to 1000 1, degree motor two is on then again uh, will be my contract for i3 uh, you see this is the uh, analog value when your uh, uh, sf is uh, connected in here this is the 500 minus 500 to 2000 it is a huge number of temperature in uh, pt100 we are controlled by it so friends i want to uh, Mm, select for the zero to 2000 degrees Celsius. For every steps, our every output will be on. This is step by steps on. Okay, so friends, uh, let's go to the analog comparator. Another here, SF3 special function for three, and this is the Mac contact for SF3. SF3 Mac contact, and this is the output of uh, Q3. And this is go to the 1000 degree, 1000 degree to one. 1500 five, that means 1500 okay so friends so 1000 to 1500 uh, that means um, 1500 degrees celsius will be q3 will be on here so friends so this is the next step some i want to each another connected each another connected each and other okay and then go to the q3 this is the programming sequence for a step by step so of a, uh, only one sensor you are using so in here. Uh, this is the number 4 R3 uh, came okay. to my contract for uh, this R3. Uh, and this is the special functions analog comparator. This is the number 4 SF uh, when you are using the PD. The times it is, it's also uses the PD. Okay, friends.
also because we are one one number one sensor we are using the four kinds of uh, digital output in here sf4 mac contract and this the number four digital output so let's write the comments in here this is the motor number three motor zero three motor zero three <coughs> motor number 03 and this is a motor number 04 here motor 04 04 here so friends i went to simplicity of this uh, program in the step by steps right now in here so friends i want to drag in the uh, for simplicity in here and this is the this is the drag and drop uh, for this uh, both is for the same like here all is selected first and then yeah okay and this is the also new line table i hope you guys understand what is the main theme of uh, this uh, output value in here step by steps so i want to write the um, programming sequence uh, that times you clear okay zero to five zero to five hundred degrees celsius in temperature motor one is on motor one number steps and um, 500 to 1000 traps up and another way to say right in here this is the 1000 1000 to 53 motor 3 will be on and um, 15 15 thousand to 24 temp a oh, whole temp this is uh, we need here motor so friends this is the main theme of these devices i want to set up this value in here this is the so friends uh, let's go to the uh, practical view of uh, this as uh, simulate in here this is the practical value uh when to describe the boiler water this is the heating water in here and due to 100 levels of this in i3 is a uh, measurement of the temperature in here the times you are um, really this is the r3d module log r3d module 24 volt supply in here boiling temperature in here due to uh, 100 degree levels of your um, of um, water is a step by step increasing of your um, heat in here that times you, you want to know how much temperature in the in your bottle and your measurement here also this is the r3d module specific i was um, described uh, the previous video that was uh, the tc module and this is the RTD module, resistance temperature detector. But in specific, this module is uh, different. When you are using the RTD, that times you any kinds of PLC, not only logo. When you are using the 200, 300, or any kinds of PLC, uh, you are using so that times you choose of how you are um, uses the RTD, that times you need, must be needed uh, of your RTD module. So friends, this is the main theme. Uh, this is the RTD 3, uh, three cable. Uh, many kinds of RTD in the market right now. We have two wire RTD. This is the red and white. Red means red is all the time positive and white is negative. And the three wire. Three wire, uh, two is red and one is white. That means so white is negative and two red is uh, both is connected to this uh, positive. And four wire connect connections. So this is the four wire connection. Is, uh, two is red, two is white. Uh, two, uh, every red is positive and every white is negative in here. So I this uh, my the background is a white track in here. This is the blue. So blue is a negative and red is a positive in here. Positive connected to the M1 positive pin. And I see this is the negative. This I see uh, all both of um, in blue and basically white. Uh, both is connected shortly with the IC. That means negative. So friends, this is uh, M1 and um, IC. So M1 connected to the positive uh, terminal of RTD and negative terminal of uh, white or opposite of it. So friends, you connect it to this uh, IC1. Okay. So friends, this is the supply and this is the your connections of uh, RTD side here. So these are um, one and two and three. Three types of uh, RTD you are connected of your this module in here. So, so, uh, so friends, this is the basic theme of RTD, uh, which is connected to the, the RTD module in the logo PLC. I will type the logo PLC. That's why I am connected to the logo PLC module in here. Basically, it's connected to the main uh, CPU, 
CPU of um, your logo PLC system. What is the going on in this um, right PLC right now in here? This is the, your RTD. It's the, the three terminals connected to the this RTD module. And you want to see now, or you want to control of your um, the temperature, bio temperature of your digital output, uh, which is we are described in the our this PLC. So RTD is one. Which uh, this RTD I want to describe in here. This is the, uh, this RTD is here. Uh, RTD is here, which is um, uh, connected to this uh, boiler, and uh, you want to step by steps of your um, boiler uh, is uh, connected to this in here due to 500 degrees Celsius for one motor is on, and that time so uh, when 500 to 1000 degrees Celsius, that time so uh, Q1 is off, uh, Q2 is on, and specific this is the um, uh, comparator properties of comparator. So, friends, uh, let's go to the main theme of uh, this uh, video. Uh, let's go to the simulation in here. First is uh, Q. 2 is on because the 500 is set in here we are uh, when we are drug of a drug policy this is the q1 is on and right now here it's because uh, 25 degree, you see in here 250 degrees celsius is right now in here that means our set level is 0 to 500 degrees celsius when our actually counted the value or uh, counted the temperature in the celsius degree um, 0 to 500 is set for m1 uh, when uh, we are approach the 500 that times q1 is off q2 is on this is a 525 that means across the across of your value of 500 that times again we are a uh, drag of your and 1000 degree to 500 to 1000 degree this uh, will be on with the q2 and then when 1000 degree already cross because uh, 1000 degree to 1500 degree celsius for q3 will be on this is on in here and q1 and q2 already off in here okay so friends again drag and 1500 degree across that times your q4 is on and the last levels will be that means uh, your 25 degrees celsius 25000 degrees celsius you will be still on so friends this is the main theme of um, analog sensor i used uh, this rtd only one rtd in here that is uh, is is a zero to 25 degrees celsius control step by step uh, of your four motor this is the policy of your dependent, absolutely dependent on your factory, which are you want and how are you in the working procedure design about these temperature controlling devices. So friends, um, I would buy this analog input. Okay. This is the analog input is of factory and um, uh, this is output. Basically, analog output is known here. Analog, analog is we are got the analog value, but uh, control of the of our digital devices in every time see here. So friends have put foot, uh, digital output, we are controlled by the analog input. So I hope you guys understand. If you like of this video, please subscribe the channel and click the bell icon. This process will never miss another update. Follow the next video tutorial till then I love.